Oh, kitty, what will be the first thing you do when we get home? Eat, of course. Eat until I fall asleep. Typical cat. I think I would like the same. What was that book we got given? Use. Oh, okay. I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that relays silently in the unknown. Leon Castillo, one of the thousand. Okay. July 11th, 1908. My name is Leon. I'm currently 92 years old and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I was never fond of jewellery, houses or clothing. Since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants and insects. And even though I never quite got a I never got a response, I never quit. If you're reading this, maybe it's because you're looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't. Or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence and become one with everything. December 17th, 1875. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. The black shadows. I can see them too. They're everywhere. Okay, so this guy just... This guy is seeing the same thing as us, but without medication. So are we making ourselves unwell by taking it? Cry because it hurts. December 19th, 1875. I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Remor, Prince of Darkness, from the Fifth Reality. Fifth re okay. It talked to me, it played with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to its exist. It I was the key to its existence. Inside my head, the stone of wisdom inside my head. January 13th, 1876. Wait. So this is a year later. I can see myself around, the other me. Tell me lies, talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. The other me. He wants to commit suicide. He smiles while pronouncing the words, kill yourself. And I have tried, hypnotized by his words, but there is always something saving me at the end. Must be the love to live. 1876. I meet a shadow. For the first time, it talked to me. Kamalas? Their race is called the Kamalas. They hunt weakness and pain. I asked about... I asked it about the possession of human bodies, and it said, We are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. After that, it started raining and it walked away from me, leaving a black oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. After seeing the Kamala's reaction to water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night, I encountered something amazing. The Kamala's transform into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. The metamorphosis was too painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the Kamala's calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing. After a few minutes, a bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. That was what we saw by Antonio's house. It felt like wicked witches and fairy tales. It felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. If Ithasta? 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 Awaits all the. Oh my gosh. Velo. Velocas must go there after waking up. If you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. I didn't answer. After a while, it faded away. Velocas. Hmm. Read thoughts? I think that's a bit scary. February the 2nd, 1876. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall read more from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking that Ithersta may not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. 
I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Veloka's invitation. Since I saw the Velocus, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head in a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. Looks like a record. I don't understand the drawing. Me neither. March 13th, 1876. I got a visit from my son, Brian. I told him about the things that I've seen, but he didn't want to hear them, and left. I don't blame him. I understand that the reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most people. I wish I could find a friend, just like me, because my son, he thinks I'm insane. 1876. My body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all social laws and only apply our reality laws, because they're not only laws but also behaviours. Chemical behaviours, natural laws. Without those behaviours, without those laws, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground, calm while dying. Last night, after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. I found a strange bottle with pink liquid inside in the same spot this creature landed. What creature can that- it looks like an axolotl. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognised. The bacteria seems to get rid of the unusual behavior, unusual behaviors of any kind. And I'll try that again. The bacteria seems to get rid of unusual behaviors in any kind of living creature. I poured some of the pink liquid on a dying plant, and it blo bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissue, and it cured it after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as platelets and white blood cells, but at very high speed. Mysterious pink water. Good for the plant that got better and bloomed. I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house, big yellow eyes staring at me at my sleep. Beings oh there's a bunch of pages tore that out. Beings in Itherster are varied. From roots to giant insects, roots are the first in this reality. Insects came later. I learned their language and numerology. Okay. I apologize for the background noise. My cat is having a freak out with his toys. Alphabet. Ahi, fa, si, thi, eish, afi, he, ax, ai, thi, kao, ea, mai, ni, o, pe. Q a krasana tem e i e des yax e kris ench au e. The great Velokas is the beginning of the first reality, primeve light. The Velokas' body structure is different from ours. They are made out of photons and sound waves. They are also both male and female. When the youngsters reach the age of 299,792,459, they are crowned with the shield. Okay. ZR. Creation of the Great Velokas. King of Ithurster. Second reality. Life. 1877. Being in... Hang on. 1877? Versus... 1876. So, like, a year after he said no, he ended up where he got invited to anyway. Being in Idhurster feels like becoming what you can't understand on Earth. It's where leaves sing while falling off the tree and the water whispers its wisdom while you drink it. This thing again. Pandora. Creation of the five realms of essential... Five realms of essential existence resides in the human world. Third reality, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter. Consciousness, practice of will. Why just those three? Why not all of them? Okay. Senesidi, the end of vibration, when both ends of opposites at the same degree, resides in the third and fourth reality, death. So stuff in the first two can't die. Because death only affects the third and the fourth. Got it. 
Mabuka is the end of light. Is that Raymore? Many heads, that creature must spend a lot of time thinking. So I guess, like, Remor is in charge of this reality, then. Mother Mabuka is letting me go. I've spent 15 days here in Mabuka's den and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from the pain anymore because it's part of me. It feels like love and is everywhere and in everything. I enjoy crying, I enjoy laughing, I enjoy being alive. If dark things from the dark are so dark, how do they find each other? Maybe they like it dark because they're so ugly. Harsh. I think they look cool. No date recorded. I'm getting ready for the journey back home. Mabuka sent me to the endless limits of Mabuka's den and I'm waiting for the looser ferns. I had to become friends with them or, more precise, become one of them. Wait, are these the insects that the faces turn into? These ferns gather in filaments, that's why they look like they're growing hair and the big face, yeah, is mostly for communication purposes and to scare their predators. I hope my body can survive the journey. Gravity collects particles to cre generate new- to create new ones. It's a creative force, and with creativity, evolution is inevitable. What is this? Is this the five realms of essential existence? One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, this is a version of the diagram from earlier. Now what's this? Somebody riffed off the rest of the book. Okay. Okay, that's not the five realms, because there's... only four of those going that way. Who knows? I, I honestly don't have a clue what's going on anymore. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh dear, a baby skeleton. I guess they didn't make it in time. Good night and sweet dreams. Uh, these are... what was it? Luc Luciferns? Luciferns, yeah. Sir, are you the curious insects that get stuck? They're sleeping. Maybe they are not stuck. Well, I hope they have their hair comb. Can I do anything? I won't even try that, okay. Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, Fran, come on, we have to go home. There's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. I could go first, alright? Then you follow me. You weigh way more than I do. Like, just because you make it across safe does not mean that I'm going to. Alright, kitty. You're so sweet. I'll be right behind you. This isn't gonna end well. We're gonna fucking fall. Oh, I can already hear the noise of it, like, straining. Fran, wait. Oh, hello, Rebot. With your Freddy Krueger fingers. Oh my dear, I can't hold on anymore. I don't want to die. You won't die, my friend. Come on, you could do it. Jump. Alright, here I go. Hey, I got you. You don't got me! Fran, no! Jump. Yeah! If we die, we die together. Don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. Is that old mother? Oh, dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. I was wrong. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. 
You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here, please? You'll just leave me all alone like my mother and father did. That wasn't exactly their choice, Fran. I'm sorry, my dear Fran. You will soon understand. Aunt Grace, no, don't go. Please, please. Oh, hello. Fran, it's time for your new medicine. That was a thing. What the fuck is this? I mean, it's gorgeous, but what is this? Can I... Oh, okay. Oh, what happened? Where am I? Fran, where are you? Oh, with a cat! Hey! One of Fran's shoes. These are Fran's stockings. Okay. Okay, we can't even approach other things. Shoes. Dress. Uh. Eh? What? What an ugly tree. I scratch you, evil thing. Kitty? Kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? Fran? My darling, is that. Why are we a tree now? Is that you? It can't be. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would I be? Fran, you are a tree. Don't be silly. Help me get up. <laughs> the wiggle. A very slight wiggle. Wait just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you have become a tree. What? But how? Oh my dear, this was the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. The night Mom and Dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend. A tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm... Not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. Okay. This is why they gave us the book. This is... Okay. Kolke kolke ik runa asgu hualani igni chokre vanti <clears throat> Ow. Ah, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Voila, Kolke, voila. Stop it. I will scratch you. Voila, runna igni. What are they saying? Oh, my kitty, why is this happening to us? Voila. Stop attacking me, please. I need no harm. Voila, igni, nivanti. Can you help me? Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, Fran. This is getting... This is brilliant, but this is completely insane. Stop attacking my friend, Carrot. An old vegetable sitting on a boat. This is a wooden boat. Hold on. Okay, purse is there. Thing is here. What? I have to reach it somehow. I refuse to expose my beautiful and soft fur to water. Some friend you are. Crystal? I'll take this stone, it's shiny. Ah, and then we jam it. No, 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 crystal. Crystal, there we go. And then we get purse. I got the purse, only because I'm the best. Go 
can we like prove we're human? Wanam Nihuaka Ah Runa Paskin Oltao Ah we're being acquired. Huh? Where are you taking me, Sir Vegetable? It's gotta hurt. Like being pulled along by what is essentially your hair. They want to help you, Fran, I can feel it. Uke runna ipo. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I will be right here with you. Galop ma, galop ma. Whoosh. This has just got completely left from where it was supposed to be. So this is the depressing, bloodful game. And now, never-ending story. Let's go.